Thank you. Good morning, uh, proper early one today, and um, that's because me and the missus are going to Wales for a romantic holiday for my birthday, which is in a few days' time. Uh, but on the way, we're going to be stopping off and staying over in Bristol. We're going to play, well, I'm going to play the ADC tour event number four. Really strong field. I had a look at tour event number three yesterday, uh, which was run by um, Steve Brown, won that, beat Dan Reed in the final. Loads of quality players in there. Uh, but I am looking forward to it, and I'm in um, decent form myself. So if I can play my best, maybe I can get through a couple of rounds. We'll see. Uh, so I'll see you on the way. We're halfway. Stopped at some services in Worcestershire. Uh, women have got tiny bladders. So uh, this is um, something you have to put up with when you're travelling with a missus. Uh, it's the Formby Conference Centre where we're going today. The tournament is uh, the tour event number four. Uh, part of the amateur dart circuit, which is run by Steve Brown, who won yesterday's event, tour event number three. Well done to him. In his own words, he did say he had to spin a lot of plates yesterday, so he's, he's done well to win that. Really tough field. Uh, a lot of really top quality players in there, which is going to be the same today. Running average was um, high, higher than my running average. I'm a high 60s, well, sort of mid-60s, low 70s type of player, so I'm going to have to get a good draw or play really well if I'm going to... Um, get through any rounds today but hopefully we'll do okay i'm not playing too badly did a round robin adc sanctioned event last week scored well finished shit um but quite pleased uh, that was the first tournament with the new darts um, so hopefully we'll, we'll do okay today if i can play well as usual that's all i'm bothered about uh, the adc by the way is um sort of a bridges the gap between amateurs and pros so shit pub players like me um, Super League players, counter players can get a feel for what it's like playing in a professional environment. Really exciting for amateur darts. I think it's a, a, a fantastic um, setup by the looks of it. Um, really good going forward. It, it, there's going to be more and more events coming. So really, really looking forward to playing uh, in as many of these as I can in the future. I might play all the tour events next year. This is the only one I'm doing this year, uh, and I'm only doing this one because. Me and the missus are already on our way to Wales tomorrow. This is on the way. Um, so it made sense just to add a, a day onto the holiday and stop overnight in Bristol. Uh, looking forward to it. Really excited. Um, see you when we get down there. Incidentally, I had a new shirt. I didn't wear it for the drive down because it didn't get creased. Um, but here it is, modelled by the beautiful Blood Axe himself. Uh, this was made for me by STG Designs. You can find them on um, Facebook and Twitter. I will put the link to the website in the description below. I promise you it's absolutely stunning. They also make uh, dart flights and darts arounds. Highly recommend them. Anyway, on we go. <laughs> So just to quickly scroll through some of the players in the draw, uh, Steve Hine, Adam Smith, Neil, that's a bit of a stinker of a first round, which Steve Hine won on to one. Um, there were some other great players in there. I'm probably going to miss out loads of good names. I just don't want to spend too long on this. Uh, Keenan Kay in there. Uh, Margaret Huntley. More on him later. Chris Rickenden, Pugs. Colin Osborne, Gabby Blades. Uh, Kevin Garcia, James Richardson, uh, his son's in the draws one, I went past him, uh, that's Joshua Richardson, Steve Brown, Graham Hall, uh, Adam Jenkinson, Adam Mould, Dan Reed. Uh, so many good players, I don't know if I've mentioned Colin Osborne, uh, Matt Jackson, Jimmy Bristow, Daniel Lee. Uh, some really good players in the draw. 
Uh, my first round game was against Daniel Halsall. Uh, I, I, I didn't know who he was before I played him, so I checked uh, tour event number three from the day before. Looked like a pretty solid player, probably an evenly matched player to myself uh, from what I could see from his previous results and stuff. He was probably going to average, I would have expected, somewhere in the 70 bracket, sort of where I normally am. So I thought I'd probably have to play well to beat him. To be fair, I didn't play very well. I was so nervous, I was shaking like a leaf. Um, my dance was going all over the place, but fortunately for me, he was struggling more than I was. Um, he was struggling a little bit with the release of his darts, to be fair to him, um, which is never nice to see. Uh, and I managed to hit my doubles and beat him. My scoring wasn't particularly great. It was hitting a lot of ones and fives, quite a few tons in there, but a lot of rubbish in between. And it was just purely <laughs> terrible nerves. I, I couldn't explain it. Uh, I wasn't drinking because I'd driven down there. I was going to have a couple maybe. Straight after that game, I went to the bar and, and had a beer. Um, my next game was against um, Michael Huntley, uh, Welshman. And uh, I played a lot better in this game. I scored well. Uh, I didn't get to hit any doubles. I think I got a couple of shots. His, his, just, his scoring was so heavy. I think he averaged high 80s, I think, against me in that one. Uh, I just couldn't get anywhere near him. His scoring was so heavy. Every time I hit a ton, I did hit quite a few of them. He would follow it up with a 140. If I hit a 140, he would hit a 180. It was just relentless scoring, and he thoroughly deserved to beat me. Um, and he went on and had a pretty good day after that. So me personally, it was nice to get through the first round, although I didn't play that well. Second round, I played well. But unfortunately, I came up against um, a far better opponent than, than me. Uh, way too good for me. Um, so it's another one chalked off, another experience. Um, what we'll do now is just go and have a look at the um, semi-finals onwards and uh, see what happened from there. So into the semi-finals and there were a lot of great games during the day and a lot of great legs, a lot of high scoring legs, a lot of really interesting legs. Um, and this was certainly one of the best of them. Uh, started off here, Michael Huntley was 1-0 up at this point, opened with a 180. Um, I think he had a 60 here, Scott Taylor did. So uh, immediately on the front foot, in control, 3-2-1. He would follow up his first 180 with another one. So he would go 6 darts deep into a 9 darter. Coming back for 141. Hits the first triple 20. And unfortunately he missed the triple 19. And uh, then he forgot where he was. Um, but he, he would win that leg. Um, eventually he went 4-4 four, four in this semi-final. And uh, Scott Taylor had three darts at double 10. And they were close. It was a great effort. That would have put him into the final. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't get it. Um, Michael Huntley was left on 26, composed himself, and decided against going for double 13. Cameraman didn't spot it, obviously. Uh, split it, went for the 10. First dart was outside. Second dart in. So that put him through to the final, um, where he would play the winner of the other semi final, which was between Dan Reed and James Richardson. Uh, the stats from that game, uh, pretty good scoring game. 90 average, 90.64 for Scott Taylor, 87.27 for Huntley. Uh, he hit 16 tons, 3140s, 3180s, two of those in the one leg, of course. And Scott Taylor, 10 tons, 5140s, and 3180s. So on to the second semi final. Uh, at 4 2 up, James Richardson had a chance at 58. Good effort again. Uh, probably was expecting he'd be. Coming back for tops, um, Dan Reed had different ideas. One, three, four left, triple eighteen, double top, double top again. That's a great finish and a great way to uh, reach the final. Um, he was running up the day before, so he'd reached the final two days on the spin. Um, averages there eighty six point nine one for James Richardson and 98.82 for Dan Reed, great average. 
106.14 first free average there uh, with 11 tons 5140s and a 180 um james richardson eight tons two 140s and two 180 so onto the final it was a bit of a scrappy um final leg here uh, dan reed had already missed a few chances at the double uh, 136 left for Huntley, uh, trying to stay in the match. Two just above the trouble 20. Uh, looking for a way in. Uh, moved across. Didn't look like he was ever going to get in there, to be honest. Uh, 60 scored, left him 76. But Dan Reed coming back for double four to win the match and the tournament. And uh, got it first time. Fantastic win for him. He's an epic player. I've seen quite a bit of him on the um, online live league. And he's had a great weekend, finishing runner-up for an event, event three and then winning event four. Uh, averages for that one. Uh, Michael Huntley, 84.84. 14 tons, four 140s and a 180. And Dan Reed, 89.53. Um, six tons, seven 140s, four 180s. Uh, quality player and a great day for him. Uh, and I suppose for me personally, it was nice that the guy who knocked me out of the tournament went to the final. He had a really good day, threw really well, uh, and eventually just ran into a really, really good player in Dan Reed. Thank you very much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back for the Paul Lingard Memorial, which is in Nuneaton, and that would be sometime in august i can't remember the exact date but we'll do a vlog of that as usual and uh, we'll have another crack at it thank you very much and good night